show signs of cicada. When you look at the, that diagram, most of the pebbles are presented with and CKD stage two and three. And then, then CKD stage four and five is that's like 2.3%. So most of the cases are CKD stage two and three. So it's in the hand of the uh, primary care physician. As previous uh, nephrologist said that, you have to refer to the nephrology if EGFR less than 30, so don't know So the type 2 diabetes in Malay, no, the diabetes ma CKD when why the CVD net the Ramyaware. So main cause of death is CVD and retinopathy and amputation are very common in people with the CKD. This is uh, one of the my uh, sorry, this is one of the uh, my doctorate and uh, students, and uh, now now he's called the endocrinologist. Credit to the doctor Chan Yosomye. That's the mentioned by the chairman. When we have uh, some data in the our hospital, this IHG twenty four point seven. You look at nephropathy is twenty four point eight, but uh, neurology is a uh, twenty eight point five. I think say, this is the same in the most of the country. So there are some means and facts about decay. When you look at this one, means the progression of the diabetic kidney disease is inevitable. Actually, the fact is not. Decay can sometimes be prevented. Progression can be slow if you have a good control of blood pressure and the blood glucose. This is all mainly, mainly two factors which you want to delay the progression of the renal diseases. Number two, the means is, it's all got laid in the natural history of the diabetes. It's also wrong as well. If you have a type two, you can have DKD at the time of the diagnosis. If you have a type one, probably five years after the diagnosis. Number three, DKD is more common in type one compared to type two. But uh, a nice CKD guideline didn't show that that's not different between type 2 and type 1. The DKD are the same, the same. Number four, it occurs exclusively in the people with diabetes retinopathy. Mainly DKD and diabetes retinopathy, 90% association in type 1. It's not in the type 2. Type 2 probably 50% or probably. That's another one. Means, are you mean always features of diabetic kidney disease? It's not true. When you look at the type 1, that is true. Probably 90% might have a albuminuria. When you look at the type 2, only 30% of the DKD patients has albuminuria. So if you don't see the albuminuria, you cannot say that patient does not have DKD. DKD, when established, very easy to treat. This is the mean. The fact is, it's easier and less costly to prevent than to treat. So you have to prevent before it's a development of the decay. People with diabetes are really interested in managing the future risks from their disease. The fact is not true. They don't have uh, any information about decay. Mainly, mainly, whenever most of the our data are emphasized, whenever you treat the diabetes, you emphasize on CVD, you emphasize on CVD, but they don't know about the DKD. So you have to provide more information about DKD. If you know that, they will be very, very active in their treatment. People with diabetic kidney disease need to see a nephrologist. When I ask one of the nephrologists, when I refer to you, so if you see a diabetes patient, you refer to me. That's not true. Now, this uh, guideline clearly say that if the GFR less than 30, you refer. Even though not even GFR more than 30, you can handle it. This is the means of truth. Now, I'm not going through the other detail about the other things. This is the argument creatinine ratio. is a main screening test. And then you can see the all the data. Only I would like to emphasize is previously we call microalbuminuria. Now we call moderately increased. Previously we call macroalbuminuria. 
now we call severely increased. That's the only difference in terms of the KDGO guideline. So, in, you can download this one in Dabdi Canada. This is the 2018 Dabdi Canada CBG guideline. The Dabdi nephropathy is mainly two areas structural disease, type 2 DM, chlorumina lesion. You can have increase in the urine abdomen. If you have a function problem, you have a reduced GFR. So you can diagnose CKD in diabetes if AC are more than two, some guidelines say three. N or EGFR less than CG for the more than three months, this is a diagnosis of DKD. Only the one to highlight is that should be progressive increase in proteinuria in people with long standing diabetes, followed by declining function, which can eventually lead to ESRD. This is the definition. They emphasize progressively uh, increase in the protein UR. Why? If there is a DKD in case of the diabetes patient, it might be due to diabetes retinal nephropathy, it might be due to hypertension, it might be other causes as well. So you have to differentiate between the diabetes nephropathy versus alternative diagnosis. Seafirm, caring for well-being.